it would be so nice if those who oppose evolution would take a tiny bit of trouble to learn the merest rudiments of what it is they are opposing. Well, Dawkins always really overreaches himself. And to be fair to the evolutionist, I don't think Dawkins is the person who necessarily represents the careful thinking evolutionary approach. Because there are some out there, to be fair to the evolutionists, even though I totally disagree whether with their position, there, there are those who seriously have worked things through and they really do come to honestly the view that the evolution has happened and they are just as strong, but maybe don't put it in such a strident way as Dawkins does. So when Dawkins says that we should have actually looked at what uh, evolution says, he of course isn't correct because the people from a creation position such as myself and Stuart Burgess and many others, Steve Taylor, um, have actually looked very carefully at what the evolutionist says. And uh, coming back to Dawkins again, Dawkins knows that myself and others are actually saying something very different and it's the philosoph philosophical position that we're taking that he hates. Let us go back to the fundamentals of how you do science. And we are saying as a creation community and to a certain extent the intelligent design community as well, let's go back to the foundings of modern science, which actually goes way before, but nevertheless is well written in the Royal Society mon motto, which uh, Newton and others uh, were ascribing to, which is nullius in verba, on the word of no one. So we are saying, as Dawkins, you know, robustly resisted myself and Stuart Burgess in 2006, saying, look, this means that all the rest of us are wrong. Well, we're saying, we're saying, well, that could be. It could be that you have gone down the wrong track, that you, in asserting your evolutionary model without letting it be carefully, critically appraised, that you are going down the wrong track. So now let's come to what he actually said against us, as you just quoted, that that uh, really could not the creation community carefully examine what we really do say. I turn what he has said on its head because I would say to all of the evolutionary community, it would be so nice if those who oppose creation would listen to the experts in design engineering and take a tiny bit of trouble to learn the merest rudiments of what it is that they are opposing. Because whether it be Stephen Jay Gould, who's died now, whether it be Richard Dawkins, whether it be Steve Jones, who's one of the BBC advisors on on issues to do with science and science teaching in, in the United Kingdom. Um, whoever it is, I am saying, let us have the science carefully put in front of students. Let us not be saying that evolution is correct because it is correct, which is what's happening today. In other words, it's not being critically examined and carefully assessed, is evolution correct or not? Rather than dogmatically asserting, we know evolution is true because it's the only game in town, which is what's going on from the evolutionary community. Let's push away that evolutionary interpretation and just simply say that's dogmatic assertions, which is not proper science. When you do science to do with origins, it's a, bit, it's a bit like doing forensic science. You know, you find somebody's murdered in the bathroom, you know. Well, was it, uh, was it done with a hammer? Was it done with a gun? Was it suicide? You know, how did this person die? Well, you don't know. You can't rerun history. And all forensic scientists know this. 
that it's a matter of piecing together a bit of evidence here, a bit of evidence there, and then you gradually work out what may have happened or what may not have happened.